Hi guys, I'm Maddie. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And today I'm going to share with you guys my first haul of 2021. This is what I found on the half-off New Year's Day sale. Actually, it's not everything. There's definitely going to be a part two to this. I spent, if we're including travel time, 12 hours at four different thrift stores and I was texting my boyfriend all day long like you will not believe what I found um, a lot of it is bread and butter but some of it is not I've already had four pieces sell and that's incredible because I listed these pieces yesterday so I'm going to show you those pieces first then what I'm going to send to the real real and a little bit of explanation as to why I'm choosing to send those instead of sell those myself and then um, everything else that is already listed in my Poshmark closet. This is going to be a long one, so you may want to put this on as background noise as you list or share your closet. Let's get started. So this is already sold. And I did pay up for this piece because everything in the store was on sale for 50% off except for one color tag. So this color tag was not on sale. But sometimes when I know that my cost of good is going to average out to fairly low, I will pay up for an item because I know that whenever I average it, average it, it will still be beneath like $5. Um, my cost of good for this particular trip was I think $4.35, something of that sort. So I did pay up for this piece, um, especially because I knew that it would sell very quickly and I was right on that, it did. And it is this Lululemon Define jacket. It still has the pull tag, which was a big selling factor for me. It is a size six, and I received a lot of lowball offers on this. Um, but it did end up selling for $40 on eBay. I had it listed for $55. I've had bad luck with these jackets before where they've sat and sat, but I think since this was such a phenomenal color, that's why it got so much attention and sold so quickly. So the lowball offers that I've got were $30 and then $35, and I countered those, and it was a ghost town. But then on eBay, I received an offer for $40. I said, that's good. I don't like to sit on inventory. Absolutely, it's yours. So I'm excited to see that go, and very quickly. The next piece that sold very quickly is this mod cloth sweater mod cloth size large and look how cute this is it's got dinosaurs and then kind of like a fair isle style this sold on poshmark i want to say within an hour of me listing for 28 dollars i looked up comps hoping that they would be a little bit higher they weren't but 28 dollars is still awesome especially when it goes quickly the next piece that sold, sold within minutes of me listing. I was still listing other items, and I received an offer on this. It is Loka, which is Anthropology, size medium large. And this is, like, their lounge wear line. They also have, like, actual clothes, but I think now they're more just lounge wear. And it's just this robe. It's got a hood. I hope that... The buyer really likes this and that she's warm and comfy in it and I was happy to see this go because it is a bulkier item so I was going to have to hang this in my um, coat closet so I don't have to do that. It's going straight out to her. I hope she enjoys it. Next that item that sold I almost didn't pick up. It didn't have a size tag on it. I haven't had fantastic luck with this brand. I almost left it behind but then I was like I don't know there's something about this blazer that I like. It is a Miss Pendleton blazer. That's the vintage brand or the vintage tag. They still make this brand um, and it's just this single button tan wool blazer. Always make, to sure, make sure that all of the buttons are on the sleeves as well. And I had this listed at $50 and I got an offer instantly for $40. I was like, thank you for sending a reasonable offer and I accepted. Alright, now we're moving on to the pieces that I'm sending to The Real Real. If you guys don't know what The Real Real is, it is an online luxury consignment store. I do have a video planned on what I'm sending to the real real and the whole selling process all the way from them listing it and then shipping items that they rejected back. It has been a little bit delayed. I'll get into that in that video, but that should be coming probably in the next two to two and a half weeks. But these are the items I'm sending. 
to them. All right, I've never sent them this brand before. I see it all the time. It is Terry Lewis, and I've seen this sold on the Real Real website, but I don't know if it's on their brand list, so they may send it right back. Sometimes they accept brands, and then I think they say that those brands aren't really selling that well for them, and then they'd stop accepting it, but this is a pretty good piece. It is a long coat. It'll be kind of hard to show. It's like a denim chambray material. It's got the belt, which is awesome, and... I have two dresses listed um, by this brand in my Poshmark closet and they haven't really received a lot of attention which is why I'm sending this to the real real. I'm excited to see how this brand does there because like I said I see this brand probably I don't know 50% of the time that I go out that may be an over exaggeration 25 I don't know something of that sort. So if that's a brand that the real real does end up accepting that'll be good for me because I can continue to send it into them. Then we have another brand that I've never sent to them, but I don't have particularly great luck. I don't really expect them to price this like anything crazy, but I don't have to photograph it. And when I'm doing these um, half off sales where my cost of goods is going to be pretty low, I like to also find things for the real real because I know kind of no matter what, I'm going to make my money back and a little bit more. But this is All Saints. Again, I don't have good luck with this brand unless it's like a nice pair of shoes. And it's just a hoodie. So kind of boring. It would have sat for me. It probably would have ended up selling for like $15. So I don't want to sell that. Alright, I've sent this brand a lot to the real real. This is Dion Von Furstenberg. And this brand doesn't sell for a lot there, but it does tend to sell pretty quickly. And it's really cute, great workwear dress, that white eyelet, and then the back is all black. And then I've sent this brand to them once. This is a good brand to resell if you find the right style. This is not a good reselling style. It is Ghani. This used to be sold at Anthropology. It's now sold on like Shopbop and those higher end um, online stores, but they've gone in a different direction. This is their older style stuff, and it's still a very cute dress. I love that accordion pleat skirt. It's just not going to sell for me on Poshmark. Then I have sold this brand myself. I've sent it into the real real. To be honest, it doesn't really do great on either one, but my cost of goods, like I said, was fairly low. So this is Frame Denim. This is the Le Skinny Day Jean. I don't know if I said that right. Um, jeans. And I don't have good luck with this brand at all. So they're going to the real real. And they normally start these at about 50 $50. Then I've sent this brand to them quite a few times and they price this brand up. It gets zero attention on Poshmark for me. It is Sandro and they normally start these at about $150 I've noticed. Nice little jacket. Then we have another Dion. This one is her vintage tag. a little striped button down kind of boring so I'm sending it pretty much from Diane von Furstenberg the only thing I really like to sell is her traditional wrap dresses that she's known for everything else goes to the real real all right I've never found this brand and I've never sent it into the real real obviously but after looking up comps I didn't see that they were doing too fantastic like I saw like 15 to 25 dollars on Poshmark so we'll see how the real real does. It looked like they started these dresses like in the low hundreds or like 75. So this is Jake Godfrey. This is sold on Revolve. It's a really cute dress. But after seeing again that it wasn't really moving for a whole lot, figured we'd try our luck at the real real. And then I also found another Jake Godfrey piece. This one's really cute, I think. But this is the one that I actually found like exact comps for where it didn't seem like it was doing very well. Again, there's the tag. I love this dress. I considered keeping it, but I just don't know where I would wear this. 
very cute and it definitely looks like that classic revolve girl but I saw a lot of these listed so I don't know if it was like on a fantastic sell somewhere or what the deal was and then the last piece I send this brand to them all the time they may send this one back based on style which they occasionally do this is worth if you're gonna send this brand to them make sure that it's worth not W by worth they do not accept W by worth they only accept worth this is pretty outdated but we'll see what happens they may send it back they've only done that to me once where they said no based on style they were like no nah, girl but we'll see what happens all right I do have everything semi-organized I'm not super organized I'm not like messy but I'm just not like a super like everything has its place type of person um but I did try to have some sort of organization for this so we're going to start with dresses and skirts this is all things that are listed on my Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari stores, which are all listed in the description box. So if you are interested in anything, feel free to check it out and send me an offer. This is Zara Woman, and it is a size small, a very long, like, trench style dress. I'd say this is a midi length. I don't have this price for anything crazy. It needs a very good steaming. I will steam that before I ship it. I steamed it when I was taking photos, but then it was sitting because I wanted to show you guys and it got all wrinkly again. Such is life. All right. Then I have terrible luck with this brand, but everyone says to pick up this brand in long dress styles, and I've done that, and I still haven't had good luck, but we'll see what happens. This is Lulu's, which is a size small, and it is a bridesmaid style dress. I love this neckline, um, this beautiful blue color. It does have a flaw, so I did price it very low, and I didn't realize the flaw until I got home. Had I realized it, I wouldn't have picked it up, and the flaw is... There is, I'm trying to show you guys, a pull, as you guys can see, right there. So, honestly, because it's a really long dress and there's so much material, I don't think when you're wearing it that it would be super visible. But I do obviously want to disclose that to my buyer so that they aren't dissatisfied with what they're getting. And then we have Madewell which everyone's off the Madewell train. I say I'm off of it too, and then I pick it up every time. Madewell size four. This is from spring of 2019, so fairly recent style. It's really cute. It's always hard to show like the crisscross straps, but button down, it's a midi length chambray. Comps on this were actually fairly decent. It seemed a bit oversaturated, but I didn't really find many in size 4, which is what I have. So I did price it high, and we'll just see what happens. Alright, so next we have Athleta, size extra, extra small. This is a merino wool blend, kind of contour, bodycon style sweater dress. I think it's really cute. If I had somewhere to wear it, I may wear it but I don't, so I'm selling it. All right, this might end up at like a Play-Doh's closet because I think I was just on a roll and I didn't think about everything through. This is Anthropology Moth, very hard to show. Ignore my gross hangnail. This is a size extra, extra small petite. So very small, but it has a lot of stretch. It's like a sweater material. I love these flowers because the middle of the flower is like 3D texture, very cute. It's got a little slit in the back. I mean, it's cute. I just don't know if it'll sell because it's a skirt, but it is anthropology, so I do know that Plato's Closet or um, I have another buy sell trade store in my area called Uptown Cheapskate. I know that the white. All right, I have started looking at kids and men sections again I just feel like I'm leaving a lot of money on the table by not looking in there and I'm gonna show you a kids find in a little bit that I was like floored and I was so happy that I decided to look in the kids section again um, I literally decided that I wanted to start looking at the kids in the men section again on Monday I went out for this particular haul on Friday and 
I found that fine and I was like, oh my goodness, what perfect timing. But anyway, this is a mini Bowden dress. It is brand new, a tag sold at Nordstrom originally. And it's super cute. It's kind of like a reddish orange polka dots. And then it's got this cute little bunny. So this is a size seven, eight. This would be perfect for Easter. The stock photo on it with the little girl. She is so cute. And for kids, I look at boys and girls jackets and outerwear because I think that's where you're going to get the most money. And then I look at little girls dresses because I think they are so adorable. So if you guys don't know, I feel like I say this every video, but maybe you're new here. I am a kindergarten teacher. That is my full-time job. And so I see the little girls in my class wearing, you know, cute little dresses like this. And it's so funny because a lot of them wear, you know, like Target, Cat and Jack. And so sometimes they'll show up in the same outfit. And, you know, as an adult, if someone showed up and they were wearing the same, like, sweater as me, I'd be kind of like, oh, okay, like, kind of awkward about it. But the little girls in my class are like, you have a sparkly unicorn dress on? I have that sparkly unicorn dress on. And they're so excited, and they think it's, like, the coolest thing in the world. And some of them, you know, we're wearing masks because COVID. Some of them have the same mask, and they think it's so cool. It's like they coordinate it. And I remember that when I was in, like, third grade, I used to talk on the phone to my best friend, and I'd be like, okay, like, let's wear pink tomorrow. You know, on Wednesdays we wear pink. Let's wear pink tomorrow. And she'd be like, okay, let's wear pink. And I miss, you know, getting excited, color coordinating, or even wearing the same outfit as my friends. Anyway, tangent about that. Moving on. All right. So we have an HD in Paris, which is anthropology, size extra small. It's like a faux wrap dress, polka dots, fit and flare. This would be cute for work, an appropriate length. If you guys don't know, kind of another little tangent story about me teaching Karen. Um, I am such a dress person. That's normally one of the first places that I hit in thrift store. Normally I go sweaters, jackets, dresses, because I think that number one is where most of your money is going to get made and you're going to get the best return. Number two, I just love all of those things, um, especially dresses. And when it's warmer outside, I only wear dresses. So last year I had an ESL student in my class. It's a student that is, you know, learning English. And she looked me dead in the eyes and she said, do you wear pants? And I said, what? <laughs> because I'm like, did this little girl just ask me, do I wear pants? And then I thought about it for a moment, you know, it registered. And then I said, yes, I wear pants. <laughs> and I said, I just don't wear them now, you know, right now because it's warmer outside because she had only ever seen me in dresses. So she was like, do you wear pants? Yes. I do wear pants um but she thought that was cool she was like you're like a princess and I was like oh thank you anyway moving on a few more dresses and skirts we have Bowden this is a six petite yes six petite and it's this great workwear dress it's black but it's got that really pretty dark blue lining on the back it's got an exposed zipper it's fantastic for work super cute. I don't sell enough of Bowdoin to really say like, oh, it's a great seller. Nah, it's not that great. Um, I know there's mixed reviews on that brand. I think that's a newer tag. I think it's a really timeless piece, so no problems picking it up. All right, so now we have Free People size medium, and this is just like a wrap style skirt. My boyfriend said, is that a towel? when I was taking everything out of the bags, and I said, no, that's a skirt. Don't you just love guys whenever they're trying to, like, assess what you got, and you're just like, please don't. All right, next we have a pair of pants. Done with their dresses and skirts. This is a pair of pants. Eileen Fisher, size medium. And they're just a pair of pull-on pants. They're like a herringbone pattern. These seem like they would be very comfortable, but they still look professional. All right, we have some shirts next. I found some woman's like entire Harley collection. Um, this is the only one that you're gonna see in this haul, but in the next haul you'll see some more. I don't know why I scattered them, but this is a Harley Davidson size medium shirt, and it's kind of like a baseball style shirt. Denton, Texas. I always put you know, where it's from if it says it on there, like down here. I think is where it says Denton, Texas or Denton County. 
And then here is the back. Very cute. I normally only get like 15 to 25, but I started this one at 32 because it's kind of a more unique piece. All right, something else I always get during half off sales is some college wear. And so I try and aim for like bigger universities. Obviously, um, if it's a smaller university, you're kind of limiting yourself. But if it's cute and it's a like larger university, I do pick it up because college wear is expensive. All right, this is a size medium. It is a Texas Tech Red Raiders little sweater. I love the like varsity stripe on the sleeve. So that's cute, probably like 15 to 25. Next we have a brand that I never pick up, but someone said if you pick this brand up and it's wool, that it does pretty well. So we will see if they're right. This is H&M, size extra small, and this is 100% wool. It doesn't feel scratchy though, and it's this gorgeous like caramel color. It's turtleneck, long sleeve. It is pretty thin, so we'll see how that does. All right, next is a piece that also may end up at Play-Doh's Closet. It is a men's piece. It is Ted Baker size six and size six when I looked at the size chart um said it was an extra large or an extra extra large I don't remember but this has definitely been shrunk this is probably more of a medium my boyfriend tried it on because he loves Ted Baker and he was like no this is small and he's normally a large so I measured it I would say it's a medium and then there is one other flaw, which is just that one of the buttons is a little bit chipped. No big deal. I did obviously disclose all of it. I included measurements. I still think it's a fantastic shirt. I like Ted Baker's men's wear. I think that you always look classy when you're wearing it. But if it just sits, I'll end up taking it to Play-Doh's and they will buy it. Alright, next we have um, G. And they have the cutest, like, most bohemian things. So this has a zipper and then also a tie at the bottom into this. And it is oversized. It says it's a size small. But honestly, I feel like this could fit, like, a large. But I love this. Colors on it are great. Then everyone talks about this brand. I have never... Oh, no, this isn't what I thought it was. All right, I have sold this brand, but I've never sold it in menswear. This is Cool, K-U-H-L. I feel like that's a requirement to talk about cool is you always have to spell it. And it's this really soft button-down shirt. It is a size small, which typically, no offense to all of you men that are a size small, I don't pick up men's size small because I just haven't had great luck with it moving. Um, so we'll see how it does. It's a very well-made shirt good for like hiking. All right, next is a Madewell texture and thread. This is from winter 2019. It's this gorgeous green color. It's a crinkle velvet. So very nice. Again, if this just sits, I can always take it to Play-Doh's and use that like credit to trade up. Another college wear. This is size medium and it is this Texas Tech Red Raiders spirit jersey. I don't know if spirit jerseys are honestly still in but I'm sure someone's wearing them. I'd wear this to class with like leggings just be comfortable. All right now we have an L.L. Bean 100% wool. This is vintage and I picked this up because it's very unique. It's got like a ski embroidery on there very interesting, no holes, which is fantastic. It's a little bit itchy, but not overwhelmingly itchy. I'm also very sensitive to wool blends. I'm that person that's literally like tearing my skin off, itching it whenever I wear something with too much wool in it. All right, another men's shirt. This is Scotch and Soda, which I've sold for women's. It's hit or miss. Um, it does retail for a lot, but resale value is kind of, eh. But I liked it, size extra, extra large. Nice plaid button down. This will be great for spring and Easter. I keep talking about spring and Easter. Obviously I'm ready for some warmer weather. 
I live in Texas and it doesn't get super cold here, but because I've only ever lived in Texas my whole life, I am such a wimp when it comes to the cold. Anything below 55 degrees, I would say like, oh my gosh, it's so cold. So if you live anywhere where it's like 20 or below, I have so much respect for you. I genuinely don't think I can do it. All right, moving on, kids wear. This is Zara Kids, which isn't gonna get you a bunch of money, but it's cute. This is a size 13, 14, and it's this little animal print cheetah tunic. It's got some pockets in it. So cute. I always think like, if I had a daughter, she would wear that whenever I'm picking up kids. This is Sundry, Sundry, I don't know. Size one, which I believe is a small. This brand is sold at Marshalls, but it can also be sold at Anthropology and on like Shopbop. It says, love. Then we have an Express Portofino shirt, size medium. I see these all the time, but I only pick them up when they're cute and good condition and at a very low price point. This one has some metallic stripes. These people love to wear to work. And I've sold a decent amount of these before. It's a good bread and butter, but like I said, definitely don't pay more than like $2 for them. Then we have Beta brand, size extra small. I've only ever found, I think, pants by this brand. So this is a shirt. Right here, it's like a zipper. And then down here, people like to wear these because it's a very comfortable fabric. I'm not really sure how it'll do. I think I have it priced at like 32 right now, 28, I don't remember. And then another kid's item. This is Zella Girls, size large. And it's just this hooded vest. I like Zella. I know other people don't, but I think it's great quality. I think just because it's sold at Nordstrom Rack, it just doesn't really have a great resale value. This is Urban Outfitters, truly, madly, deeply size extra small it's kind of like a greenish yellow chartreuse color it's got these adorable buttons on the side I love that trend that detail and then again just more stripes on the back that's a good basic though then we have American Eagle size extra small look at how beautiful this color is I'm in love and it's just like a waffle knit mock neck sweater and we have anthropology wooden ships kind of matches with me and this is a size small medium you can always flip the tag up and that's where the size will be and it's normally two sizes and how I do that whenever it's two sizes is I always put I always put the bigger size so I have this branded as medium, and then in the description box, I put size tag says a small medium. All right, it's another Pendleton piece. I have no idea what sells well for Pendleton. If you have any idea what sells well for Pendleton and you don't mind sharing that with me, please let me know. But this is 100% um, wool. This is a size small. That's their more current tag. And it's this really nicely made short sleeve cardigan black and gray even though it's wool it's really not itchy and I would say this would probably go like past your hip so I think that'd be cute over a dress or even with some leggings then we have by anthropology size 2 but this is honestly pretty oversized I would say and this is a white utility jacket I don't know about you guys, but I'm always very hesitant getting like stark white things from a thrift store because sometimes there's just thr thrift store gunk on there. And that was the case with this, but I did manage to scrub out the thrift store gunk. All right, another kids. This is Zara Girls Knitwear, size 13, 14. It does have some peeling on it, but it is again cheetah animal print. Super, super cute. Some little girl's gonna be silent or not. Another kid's piece. I promise I'm gonna get to the really good kid's piece here soon. 
This is Nike, size 6. This can be like unisex, a little windbreaker. Love the camo. And we have Torrid in my least favorite Torrid size. This is size 0X, which I just noticed doesn't sell as well for me, but it's very cute. It's a floral bomber jacket. And you can always see the cut date on Torrid pieces. I want to say this was 2018 or 2019, but if you guys don't know, look underneath the material tag and it'll say cut or style by insert date. And then, okay, I'm in love with this piece. This might become mine. This is easel size small. And this reminds me of like Johnny Was or Free People. It's velvet. It's floral on the front here. It has... It's a little ruffle and this is just like a boutique brand but seriously I'm in love with this I am gonna try it on later and we'll see if I keep it or not. Alright this may end up at the real real as well. This is the North Face size medium and do you guys remember when these used to be so big and then Patagonia took over and now we're all resellers are like, ugh. Because I find on the North Face all the time, typically priced up. But still, I find it all the time. And this is still a, a fantastic jacket. Um, I honestly would keep it if it was a little bit smaller, just for my own personal wear. But these really don't get any money or attention anymore, so it may end up going to the Real Real. If you guys don't know, the Real Real does take both Patagonia and the North Face. And they don't just take the jackets, they'll take anything. I sent them at the North Face button down shirt and they took it. They only price them at like $50 and then they go on sale from there, but it's something. All right, American Eagle size extra small, another sweater. So it's this fun bubblegum hot pink color. Alright, this is a Stitch Fit Stitch Fix brand. Try and say that five times fast. Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix. I can't do it. Alright, this is 41 Hawthorne, size large. Look at this blazer. This is perfect workwear. It's plaid, it's awesome. Comps on it were not awesome, but what a well-made blazer. I think people are just over stitch fix because it's oversaturated. But I do pick up the pieces I think are well-made and cute. Then we have Altered State. I don't always pick this up, but if it's cute, I will. Size medium large. And it is this little cardigan, short sleeves. This is detachable, this little fur hood. But cute, Aztec prints, get all them keywords in. All right, I love this next piece. This is like old school anthro. This is one September, size medium. And it is just this really bohemian, kind of Western looking cardigan. Just got the black on the top. And then it's also got this contrasting pattern. But I love this for some reason. I have it priced kind of high. Then we have another fantastic blazer. This is Bowden, again, 6P, probably from the same lady who donated the dress. But look at how gorgeous this color is. I wish I would have gotten it before Christmas because I feel like it's a perfect Christmas color. Love that. All right, are you guys ready? This is such a good kid's piece. It also may end up at the real room. This is heavy though. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, on Monday, I decided I'm gonna look in kids again. Went on Friday and I found this while flipping through the little boy section. Burberry Kids, size eight. This is calf leather. Little moto jacket. There is some discoloration. I don't know if you guys can see that on the hardware, but otherwise, flawless. Some little boy or little girl, because I think this is unisex, is going to be a biker babe in this. This is so stinking cute. Very heavy, so they might fall over while wearing it. All right. Athleta size medium. This is a wool blend 
dark red and black cardigan. Then we have Sundance, I think this is the old tag, size small. It's got six, no, nine, nine whole percent of silk. So I can use silk as a keyword. I know there's only nine percent, but man, am I gonna milk it. It's kind of like a purpley red color cable knit. Then I saw this hanging and I was like, I just sold this. I know what you are. It is Torrid size 2X and look how cute this is. It has hearts, perfect for Valentine's Day. That's something I'm a sucker for is polka dots and hearts. I'm not a huge stripe person. I've become more of one, but polka dots and hearts have always been something I have just loved. Then we have another jacket. Unzip it a little bit so you guys can see the size. This is Zara Woman, size small. And it is this little puffer jacket. It's kind of like an olive green color, maybe a little bit darker. And it's got that little fur lining in there. I have this price pretty high, $60. We're gonna see what happens. Do you guys put Vogger favorite on like everything that's Zara that's like a little bit nicer than their other stuff because I'm totally guilty of that. I have no idea if that's a blogger favorite. Then we have another men's piece. This is wool rich, size extra large, 100% wool, no holes. This is a scratchy wool. I would be very, very itchy wearing that. Two more pieces. Oh, no, we got shoes. Two more pieces of clothing, and then we have some shoes. All right, this is cabbie, size small. This, the comps on it, good. I think this is called the Expedition Jacket. I always look up cabbie because even though I think the vast majority of cabbie pieces are very cute, they're just oversaturated, they don't sell well, but this one's worth for quite a bit of money. I have it priced at like 65 but it's just like a nice little green trench coat. It says it's a small, I would say it would also fit a medium though. It's pretty oversized, but I think it's that way just in case you wanna wear like a thick sweater underneath it. Sorry, sticky to keep coming with me. All right, so last piece of clothing, American Eagle, size large. And I've seen a lot of other resellers sell this sweater because it's cute. I would say this could fit an extra large too, personally. It's just all the stripes, super soft too. All right, that is all of the clothing. Are you still around? Have you stuck in here? All right, two pairs of shoes and then we'll be done. All right, Seychelles, Seychelles, I'm not sure. This brand is sold at Anthropology. Can you see in there? Probably not. This is a size seven. It's like a metallic glitter ankle boot these are cute and they don't have a lot of wear on them and then last pair of shoes is this gigantic pair of shoes my boyfriend said did you buy bigfoot shoes and i was like you're so mean um pair of chacos i think that's how you say it Choco size 13 men's they are rather large and these look like they have like never been worn. Here's the bottoms. And then I know people really care about the straps. So that's the pattern and the design on the straps. But I found those right before I found that little boys or girls Burberry jacket. And I was like, this is a good thrift store. Anyway, I'm going to do part two of the other things that I found from this 12-hour expedition of thrifting um, next time I do a thrift haul. But that is everything that I found. Let me know in the comments below some of your good finds or if you're interested in anything, let me know as well. All of my information is linked in the description bar. Don't forget before you leave to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.